Alison Mary Smith was born in 1954 to parents Mary Goddard and Arthur Edward Smith. Her father was a British conservation pioneer, a passion that may have sparked Alison Smith's own biological research. After growing up in Lincolnshire, Smith was educated at the University of Cambridge, where she was awarded a PhD in 1978 for research into the effect of having no oxygen and aerobiosis on plant metabolism. She is a strategic programme leader at the John Innes Centre in Norwich and an honorary professor at the University of East Anglia. Smith's PhD was about how plants react when they don't have any oxygen. We know that plants photosynthesise in the day, but they also respire at night. This means it makes energy and sugars in the day using carbon dioxide and water, and makes energy at night using oxygen and the sugars made in the day. We as humans only respire. Most of the food we eat gets broken down into sugars and we breathe in oxygen. When we go to sleep, our cells still respire like normal because, unlike photosynthesis, respiration doesn't require sunlight to produce energy. However, we know plants photosynthesize in the day and respire at night. How does this work? Alison Smith's work focuses on when and how the plant metabolizes starch and sucrose. Plants make energy for themselves in the day by photosynthesis. It needs the sunlight to turn water and carbon dioxide into sugar, oxygen and energy. This happens in the chloroplast. These sugars are then packaged up and stored as starch. However, when it's night time and there's no sun, how are the plants still able to survive and grow? This is what Smith discovered. She found out that all plants have a circadian clock which lets the plant know when to make the starch and when to use it up. So, during the day it makes the starch and during the night it uses it up. If the nights are slightly longer, the plant is able to adjust a bit and keep breaking down starch. But if the days are longer than normal, the plants cannot adjust, sometimes breaking down starch reserves while the sun's still out. This information can be used to increase the amount of food a plant can make. More efficient metabolism of starch and sucrose leads to better growth and even tastier food. Right now, Smith is working on researching how this new knowledge can increase crop yield of cereal crops.